I'm going to be the hand, you be the brain. Okay. okay? So you cool. gotta you gotta follow Daniel Wrench. Everybody type slash follow Daniel Wrench in the yep. uh, in the chat. Make make sure you're following me. And I'm gonna seek. We're gonna do we're gonna do one five minute game of hand and brain to bring this show to a close. Okay. If you don't know what hand and brain is, everybody, it's where John says, "Danny, what? you just give me one second. Okay. Oh no, Tess just sent me a Snapchat, and I was trying to like replay it so I could show it to you, and it it disappeared. Well, what, what is he making fun? It of was you? like him in a hoodie, and he put like a uh, like an emoji of ET like underneath him, like he was like riding the bike with. Hess, Hess has been yeah. all over it today. He sent me a million texts of his uh, of his sister's kittens. Of his cats? Yeah, yeah he's, he's obsessed I've with I've been it. getting kittens all day now. Uh, kittens. Kittens all day. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All yeah. right. Well, Robert Hess, um, go uh, go do something useful or, or maybe challenge me right now. We'll play and John will be the brain. But all right. No, I'm going to seek a five-minute game. We're gonna take uh, on a five plus three. Five plus three, but we're gonna take on a strong player. I'm not. I'm not even gonna play the members in chat. I'm gonna seek a game, so I might get somebody close to my rating. What, what, and why? And why do you want to do? That? I'm gonna put. I'm putting my rating why, in and your why do brain. You want to do that? I'm putting my rating in your hands, buddy. Here we go. All right. Here we go. All right, One game of you, hand and brain. Let me know when you have a game, because I don't see it. Yet. Five minutes. Actually, I gotta. I gotta seek a custom time control. I'm going to do five minutes plus three seconds. Okay. And we instant. Oh, wow. People were just searching. So I'm already playing. You're following me, right? Uh, I don't see a game start. Can you tell me? Are you white or black? Check on your check on your diagrams on the right side of the screen. It probably popped up. And I'm white. Uh, pawn. Pawn. Uh, uh, actually, wait. I'm going to play the pawn that I know you like. Oh, Hold wait. I'm, I don't see your... What the... Hold on. I'm just refreshing. Are you what following Daniel Wrench? Yeah, I'm. I'm refreshing. Uh, what they play? I played c4. They played g6. Uh, pawn. Okay, I played g3. Now you're playing. It's, it's Daniel Wrench no, it, versus Philip PCP. Yeah, it keeps saying that you're analyzing, and it's not showing the. No, but because I had a million boards open, let me close out all those boards. Okay. I think it's there for you, but maybe you're just not seeing it. No, I like straight up don't see it. Here, let me give you a link in uh, in our in our um, look for a link in the Chess TV chat and the Twitch chat so okay. you can follow us. I just posted it in Twitch and I'll post it in Chess TV. So just oh, did, is this the one brother Josh posted? Let's see. That's the game. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Okay, so I don't Perfect. know why. Uh, your move. Pawn. All right, I'm I'm moving as you say, hand and brain. All right, uh, bishop. We're down on time, so all right. Focus. Remember the rules, everybody. John says the piece. I have to make the guess of the square. And I'm not allowed to play a different uh, piece, even if he says a knight. piece I don't like. I'm hoping I'm following your Catalan approach. Yeah, this is actually in my repertoire. Not, I mean, the problem is I don't study openings, right. so. But uh, castles. Sorry, king. King. I just yeah. All right, we're doing okay. Uh, pawn. Hmm. Okay. Nice. I know it's not not totally the the normal path. Yeah, no, but I'm I'm cool with that. You're test me a little bit, you know, make me. Uh, can I get away with? Uh... Actually, why? Why be just bishop? My idea can wait. All right, Philip PCP knows how to beat us in this, which is play fast. So he's playing fast to take advantage of our communication time. All right. Once you get under thirty seconds, let's say, you just need to take over fully. Uh. Let's play knight. No, I'm definitely not taking over. No, we're gonna what? we're gonna, we're gonna do no, this. I mean, up. so like for example, when the chess bras do this, once they get below thirty seconds, the hand just takes over. This is like standard procedure. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Got it. Otherwise, they would like people would be able to just flag them. 
So right. actually, if Philip is watching, uh, for sure, Philip is watching. Night, because he accepted a challenge like immediately. Like he was already seeking five three. Like he knew what we were playing. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, a pong. I mean, uh, yeah. Otherwise, like it would be their goal just to flag us. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see. Pong. Hmm. I actually am is, gonna. Is that too much? I'm gonna do. Yeah, this. that's what I was thinking. Oh, really? Though. Okay. Yeah, that's I was what wondering I was if you. I thought maybe you wanted to take d5. I wasn't sure, so I played this. No, that's what I was thinking. Well, I think that's that's a common idea in these structures when you put the knight on e5 to. Yep. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, I don't know. I think maybe knight g4 was better for them instead of knight d7 because that avoids okay. f4. Uh. Okay, pawn. Yeah, I'm almost positive they should have played knight to g4. That would have prevented what we have now. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. It's looking not bad. I'll tell you what's looking not bad is your beard. Is that a post-NFL beard? Oh, yeah. Uh, I th is it too greedy? Is it too greedy? I'm going to say bishop. I like it. Hey, they don't call me Greedy Guillermo. No, I'm kidding. They actually don't call me Greedy Guillermo. But uh, let's see. I'm going to say hmm. maybe this is a bad idea. Yeah, maybe this is. I'm going to say Bishop. Hoping I'm going with your plan here. Yeah, no, this is 100% my plan. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was our best or not, but we're doing it. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Okay, now... Let's play... Let's play pawn. Hmm. I know there's two pawn moves, but uh -huh. I think one's better. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm not sure either. Uh, I gotta move quickly though. Uh... Yeah, I need that time. I know. I'm, I'm going to go with the safer route. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's. I thought the rook got out in the other one, and I, I was think, uncertain. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, uh, bishop. I think maybe we could use the d file on e6 and still be better, but I couldn't calculate. Gotcha. That. Okay, uh, bishop. Yeah, I mean, I just love the two pawns, but maybe, I don't know. Perhaps I love them a little too much. Greed is your friend. Yasser would be proud. <laughs> okay, they're going into a little bit of a think. I think we're holding our own, baby girl. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Knight. Loved it. And if uh, Queen takes Rook. Cut. Okay. Uh, I'm good with queen. Loves that. And if queen takes knight, but something tells me they don't want to trade. Hmm. 
because they don't want to trade their squares for getting limited. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful queen, too, if they don't trade. Yeah. Hmm. All right, so after the only good queen move I see. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, okay, bishop. Yeah, I was looking at that. Duh. Um, this is uh, slightly irritating. Yeah, slightly indeed. Um, you know what? Let's just go with pawn. Okay, we have uh, options here, but I I go with this aggressive guy. Oh, okay. This obviously was not what I was thinking, but I like it. This is why, this is why you're a, a very good hand. You can fix all my problems. I've always been good with my hands. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Complications. Uh. Let's. Hmm. This is, you must trust yourself here. Let's go. Oh, time's getting low. Let's go. Mm. Let's go, knight. If he takes the knight? Uh, yeah, then takes, yeah. Yeah, I'm not under thirty yet. Be ready for the next move. All right. I was I was trying to think to see if things with like F six work, but they don't. Uh, Rook. Rook. Yeah, no, this is... I'm trying to play too quickly. You know, you're doing fine. I don't know no, but that was, you know, this is less than ideal. Uh, all right. Bishop. Okay. And... Hmm. And Rook. Oh, you're on your own now. You got 20 seconds left. You got to take us home. Okay. Yeah. Got to kind of help. Our king's in an awkward spot. You can keep trying to say the first piece that comes to your mind if you want. No, you could take us home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll cheer. I'll cheer on now. I'll cheer and talk to the chat. Cheer up, Charlie. No need to frown. Deep down inside, you know the world is still your toy. Oh, people are giving me corrections on hand and brain. I appreciate the the advice. It's you say rook, not takes. This is no. This you is you, true. you said takes, and then you changed it to rook. I thought. 
Yeah, I did, but I thought you did. Yeah, I, I think I like to think I did. I, I like to think you did as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Cheer up, Charlie. Uh, what he does here? What he does here? Yeah, I'm checking out the uh, Twitch chat too. Twitchers love the Twitch yeah. chat. Yeah, someone's saying that if uh, if you could get me to uh, master, be the best PR the site could ever hope for. But uh, if they could get me to master, it would be pretty much the best thing I could ever hope for. So, you guys call this amateur hour. I call this. Free lessons with Danny. Free lessons with Danny. Training. All right, we did good. Okay, so yeah. a couple critical moments. Um, just back up through it on your own notation. Okay. Um, that I thought might be a, a tiny bit instructive. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, overall. I think Do you just want to make an analysis board? I was I was trying to remember some things for honestly. I don't really know that there were. Any super critical moments? Um, do you want to just make an analysis board and invite me, or? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, do you still have the puzzle eight board open? Uh, no. Okay, I'll just make a new one then. Okay. The we have uh, this one right here. Okay, we have. I invite you right now. Okay. If you put it in the. Okay. You cool. Get that. Yeah, I got it. Okay. All right, so you can see. Yep. So you know this is all all gravy. Um, okay, obviously instead of B three, uh, you know you can take on D five. Yep. Um, even ninety five right away is a, a normal move here, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm not an expert on this. I was trying to play an opening that you would feel more comfortable with no, than, I, than my theory. And you like succeeded. I was very comfortable with this. Okay. So this was yep. all good. I mean, Philip plays for e5, which is probably a mistake here, despite the fact that it is a normal idea in this line. You could also, Philip, knight e4 is pretty typical, like on move eight here. Um, yeah. You know, when you have the advantage on this diagonal while you still have it, and the reason I say that is because White's bishop is blocked by his own pawn, which means you have pressure. So what mm -hmm. does that do for you? Okay, well, one example is if I try to bring the knight out, um, a number of moves here for you, are possible because I, I'm not really in a position to take the knight. Like, even even a move like knight a6, crazy as it seems, yeah. like you just develop, right? If I take yeah. it, and the end of these lines, the d-pawn is more of a target, and so, you know, we might just get like a big old trade of d and e-pawn, which of course is just equal for black. Yeah. So I'm not being totally precise with the theory, and I'm sure someone like Hikaru would chew me alive in chat, <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because the principle is that the knight coming to e4 on this, in this to open up that diagonal and in this pawn structure is a very common theme for black. So you played knight d7 instead, Philip, and e5, which I think is fine if you had played knight g4. Big difference is that I can't play f4 here because of knight e3. Mm -hmm. um, also, you're not losing the d5 pawn. So I think white's still better, John, if we take and then just play like knight f3. Because if he takes yeah. everything on e5, in the end, he's strapped with this IQP right. in the middle of the board. Yeah, this IQP in my bishop is like a monster. Right. So I yeah. think we're still better, but I think his position is more playable on knight g4. But after knight yeah. d7, you said pawn. I loved it. Mm -hmm. You said pawn. I loved it. You said bishop. I loved it. Here you said bishop. I didn't. I wasn't. I didn't love it because I, I, I wanted to just take. Not. I wanted to just oh, take okay. and back that thing up. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Like The other thing I wanted to do was... Not just go juvenile and back it up, okay? Yeah. I know you know that song. But uh, but play knight f3, which I was hoping you said knight. I think that's really the best. And the reason is because gotcha. it takes, we're not trading here, we're popping ponies. Knight g5, and he's busted. Oh, Lord, yeah. So I think, I think knight f3 was really my secret hope. But gotcha. second ranking would have been pawn. I think let's just take and back up. And then third ranking, I knew you were looking at this, and... Okay, let's look at e6, because I wonder if maybe we could have. I was looking at lines like here, he moves, yeah. we bring a knight in. You know, if he if he gives check on b6, we have bishop d4, so maybe yeah. he trades and plays bishop takes, because then his then his rook guards the 8th rank. 
Mm-hmm. And and I didn't quite know what was going to happen in this line, right? Because if we take yeah. here, he his rook guards the pawn. So right. this is why yeah. ultimately, when you said pawn here, I just, I wasn't sure on this. Now, okay, that's not necessarily forced. Like on this move, we also have this move to consider. Like, right? You said pawn, yeah, no. and my brain was like, <laughs> I didn't even know what was going on. So I, I decided instead of all this mess, I was like, let's yeah. just take here and do what I originally wanted to do, which mm-hmm. is to take everybody back to good old fashioned '90s rap. And back that thing up again. Yeah. No, I mean, so I played bishop f7 with the thought that maybe e6 works. And I was going to think about it, but also knowing that f6 was, you know, the bailout. Right. Yeah. So once we got this, I mean, um, you know, we're better. You played knight yeah. f3, I loved it. Queen trade, loved it. I don't really know that there was much, much better to do um, yeah. until, okay, we got here. You said pawn. Um I think pawn is fine. I guess probably if I had my way, I would have, I would have said like rook or something. I, I don't know. Gotcha. I mean, but I was uh, I was actually thinking pawn h three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought which you, were. you knew I was. Yeah, but, yeah. I thought yeah. you were. So, um, but I think I think h three is just unnecessary because they put the knight here and we can't play rook f three anyway. Right. Just because the bishop. Yeah. So like I mean this I don't think this is a good improvement for us to let the knight to e3. So when you said pawn gotcha. instead of rook, I think rook yeah. is best because now look, now they do this whole plan, it took them several moves and all they did mm-hmm. was bring our rooks to the c file. No, no, it's true. So so you yeah. you said pawn, so I decided to go for this. Mm-hmm. Here when you said knight, which was good, you maybe also could have said rook because this move was interesting for a second, maybe? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe. Huh. Yeah, no, that that is interesting. I didn't I didn't see that. I mean, if they go here, like we might just start jamming over here, right? right. Go Bob Marley yeah. with jamming. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So they, they, you played knight, we took, and I think okay, I think we're still winning in this end game, but it was a bit tricky. Um, yeah. You know, maybe bishop is best here. I don't know, but yeah. um, because because yeah, no, the into, problem I had was that I felt like I got their rooks. I gave their rooks too much activity. Yeah, and my king got kind of open. Right, Which but when you said pawn, I think this was like our best choice. Like I was thinking yeah. bishop was best, but when you said pawn, I didn't want to play a four or something. So I think this yeah. is our best pawn move. But yeah, our king gets a little open, um, and yeah. and and we don't want to, you know, we don't want to somehow lose this game where they get two rooks on the g file and they've got the knight over here. I mean, there's a real potential of a mating net. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Um, Again, this is this was good. I, I think uh, bishop takes is best because if yeah. rook f one, there's a, we actually lose to rook g eight right, and then knight g three. Yeah. So you did very good right there. Okay, and then we trade, and now I was and under thirty seconds, here, you took it and over. I took over. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well that was fun. It's instructive. I think the backup is interesting, right? We back up. We take a look at some of those critical moments where. Um, I think one actually instructive takeaway for you, John, is move 15, because there's a chance you play people in these Catalans and they blunder the center again. And mm-hmm. so remembering that when you have this F E pawn tension, remembering this idea where you can play knight F3 and, and keep this little G5 square in mind, that could gotcha. be that could actually be a tactical pattern that comes up in your games again to be No, aware. for sure. So all right, buddy. You know I love you. The show's yeah. coming to an end. I feel like right. I feel like we moved mountains today. Um, no, it was good. We need to come up with a name for our boy band. That's what we need okay. to come up with, you know, for our, that other career you're thinking about. <laughs> um, the uh, the show was a lot of fun. I mm-hmm. hope everybody here, if you're enjoying this show, I know it's a little bit against the grain of Twitch, but please spread the word. Tell your friends. Normally, it is every Tuesday at 3 p.m., and there will be a show this coming Tuesday. Yes. Uh I believe the plan is for this coming Tuesday on the 19th, so mark your calendars. And um, John and I will continue to do our best to provide amateur and master banter. Mm -hmm. Good math jokes. True. Leave people wondering about what's really going on in our relationship. All those things, (laughs) you know. (laughs) Um, Oh, man. And and thanks, everybody, for being here. Both the Twitch chat, uh, RM2K, subscriber there. RM2K says I am his spirit animal. My my, I love my shirt by the way, everybody. It says my kids play outside with like an explicitive, if you're, if you're really sensitive down on bottom. But um, nice. uh, yeah, and thanks for everyone for coming in, joining the chat. Like I enjoy it because yes, I'm getting free lessons, but I also enjoy like doing this with you guys 
and you guys really make the show when you guys you know come and watch and when you're involved in the chat like it's awesome i totally agree everyone was really into solving today yeah no it was it was tons of fun it was a lot of fun yeah all right cool well um have a good one, buddy. Have a good one, everybody watching the chat. Go play some games. Look for John Urschel on chess.com. Follow John on Twitter uh, and uh, all those things, and uh, we'll, we'll see you later. Sounds good.